Welcome back to Broken Electronics. I'm Lee and it's a real pleasure to have you here today for this video. We're turning our attention back to the PowerMac G4 Digital Audio. Now I've been teasing another video about this. The last video I did about this uh, was kind of unexpected. It was not the video I was going to do. Well I and it ended up being a failure. I could not get the machine to boot up into OS 9. I tried a variety of things. You can check out that video. But to start out with, I'd like to take a quick look at a clip from that last video so you can see what's going on with the machine. Stay tuned. Well, it, it appears that this machine just won't boot into OS 9. I tried to restart it into OS 9 and I got this kind of screen. It, it then wouldn't boot back into Leopard. Uh, I had to put my Firewire drive of installations in, then I could boot back into Leopard. Uh, this is my attempt to boot into OS 9 on the Firewire drive. I really don't know what would be stopping this machine. Uh, digital Audio's ought to be able to boot into OS 9. Well, I may just have to declare defeat. Stay tuned. And so, yeah, you start it up, it chimes, the video comes on, but you never see Happy Mac, or even Sad Mac, or even anything. The, the, the mouse cursor will come up in the corner of the screen, but you can't do anything with it. Uh, very, very frustrating, to be sure. And I could not get it. But as I was embarking on doing the video I'd planned to do today, a thought dawned on me. So we're going to see if maybe this works and probably be easier to show you once we've got the machine opened up. So please, stay tuned. Okay, so here we are. And I think I've got you set here. Yes, you can see this very, very well. All right. So we've got this 20 gigabyte hard drive connected via this IDE cable. But I've connected it to the ATA slot on this PCI card that's a combination SATA data uh, and IDE. I did that because it's a much, much faster ATA connection than the built-in ATA66 that the digital audio has. So what I'm going to try to see if this will fix my problem is disconnect it from here and plug it in to the connection the logic board. Okay, it'll run a little slower, but better that it run a little bit slower than that it not run at all, don't you think? Okay, so let me connect this up. Let's boot it up. And see if we have OS 9. Stay tuned. Okay, we're booted up into Leopard. It's the 1.47 gigahertz PowerPC G4. One and a half gigabytes of RAM, which is a tip-off. And yeah, Lee's G4 Digital Audio. All right. Now, there are two identical installations. I used Carbon Copy Cloner, of course to clone what I originally had here in Mac OS 9 SSD. That's a partition on the one terabyte SSD that's connected via uh, SATA on a PCI card. Uh, OS 9 HDD, that's the 20 gigabyte hard drive that I just reconnected to the ATA 66 bus on the logic board. So, no time to find out like the present startup disk. No, we don't want to go there. Yes, we want to go here. 
and restart. Now, I've, I've been trying recently not to make you sit through entire boot sequences, but I think this boot sequence is kind of the point of the entire video. Leopard, Leopard has just relinquished control of the computer, and there's our chime. wait patiently for video. We should get video. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Yeah. So far. Hey! Happy Mac! <laughs> oh my gosh! I am so happy to see Happy Mac! It looks like it's booting up. Come on now. You can do it. There go the extensions. All right. I'll be happy when the little wristwatch goes away. Well, I've got a cursor, but... Oh. Okay, you know, there's a lot of duplications on the desktop here. That's because there are two OS 9 uh, installations uh, co-inhabiting. But uh, here's something interesting. Leopard, Tiger, all, all of these drives are showing up. We can open them and see what's actually there. Huh. How about that? I'll tell you why I'm remarking on that. Uh, I've got four PowerMac G4s now that have SATA 1 PCI controller cards. This one is different. The other three, when you boot into OS 9, you don't see anything on the controller card. It's just not there. Well, let's see. How is this going to work? How about our OS 9 games? After Dark games? Oh, how about a little bit of Roof Rats? I waste a lot of time with Roof Rats. I think I plugged in the speaker wrong. I bet I did, because there's, there, there should be sound. Okay. Yeah, I did. Function keys can be set up to open file. Forget that. That's an almost nothing. Okay, give me a sec to play with this. Stay tuned. Okay, sounds working. I booted back into Leopard. The sound is working in Leopard. I just booted back into OS 9, and here we are. It's kind of annoying music, but anyhow, as I was saying, I waste a great deal of time playing Roof Rats. The idea, of course, is to rescue the characters at the top here. Here's a rat. They're the most difficult to get down. Okay. All right, that's good. Out of my way. All right. All of these After Dark games are fun. I'm not trying particularly hard. I just thought I'd get through the end of this. It seems very responsive. I mean, it's it's fine. Okay, we can get out of that. Ah, uh, do we have internet? Let's see if Classzilla will start. Yep, here we go.
Tama. I guess I never did. Uh... Oh, the heck with this. Uh, I probably never set this this up. And of course, there's two uh, examples of archive. OS nine is funny. If you've got multiple installations of OS nine in the same uh, on the same machine, it finds all of your icons and duplicates them. But yeah, the interesting thing here. All of those partitions are showing. The other uh, installations are not doing that. Okay. I know what we can do. Since I don't have that set up, uh, Internet Explorer will run. This is just to see if we have internet. And we do. There's there's Google. Okay. Uh, now I've got to, to do some things here to clean this up. For one, I've got to erase the other installation of OS 9. That'll get rid of a lot of those extra icons. And uh, I got to get rid of that partition, uh, which I shall do. I'm going to boot it back up into Leopard in order to do that. You don't need to watch that. Please stay tuned. Okay, I'm being hyper cautious here. I have just inserted uh, a FireWire drive, which I have now partitioned into two parts. Plenty of room on it. Close out a disk utility for the moment. And what I'm going to do, open up good old carbon copy cloner. Be easier here to make a direct copy of these. So we're going to go from Leopard SSD to Leopard Backup. And authenticate. Okay, this is going to take a while. Uh, once I've done that, I will, of course, repeat this with uh, with Tiger. Uh, I won't make you sit through it, of course. Stay tuned. Okay, the cloning has finished. Uh, 51 minutes to do 26 gigabytes. Okay, so much for that. Now... Tiger SSD to Tiger Backup and clone. And this should go much, much more quickly. Now, I used to use Carbon Copy Cloner as my backup solution. Before Leopard came out, which was before Time Machine existed, Carbon Copy Cloner was the way to do it. Well, anyhow, we'll let this run. Please stay tuned. Okay, here we are. The backup is finished. Uh, well, just about 12.3 gigabytes backed up in 32 minutes. All right. <clears throat> we can close out a copy of Carbon Cloner. And eject both these disks. They are purely for emergency, which will not be necessary. Because the next step we're going to do is go to disk utility. And pick our SSD. We're going to click partition. Select Mac OS 9. <clears throat> Removing this volume will permanently erase the data from the volume. This volume will be erased, Mac OS 9 SSD. These volumes will not be erased. Now, we'll see what happens to this. There shouldn't be any problem, but let's do it. And exactly as hoped, uh, 
data SSD has increased in size. It's in the process of increasing in size. <laughs> All right. And Leopard SSD and Tiger SSD have not changed. Yep, okay. And that is exactly what we wanted. We did not want that uh, space taken up by a needless operating system. Okay, so we can quit out of disk utility and just to make sure our main goal is still in effect, let's restart into OS 9. I won't make you wait through the, the entire boot this time. Stay tuned. All right, we're booted back into OS 9. Everything seems to be working fine. The main reason, of course, for eliminating that, that second instance of uh, OS 9 we have gotten rid of all of those duplicate icons that were appearing on the desktop. I'll tell you, the first time I ever ran into an OS 9 where that happened, it surprised the heck out of me. I really thought that if you had OS 9 in two separate drives on, on different partitions, they would be separate. Well, um, no. Okay, but this is cleared up now. And we've got Leopard SSD, Tiger SSD, Data HDD, Data SSD, as well as the boot drive OS 9. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a definite plus to this particular uh, SATA IDE controller card. Uh, it does register and register fine in OS 9. You couldn't boot from it. But, you know, the drives show up, which is a good thing. Okay, so I'll tell you what. I am going to now... Control panels, startup disk. I'm going to reboot back to Leopard. Uh, there's one little clip that I want to do for you. And then we'll, uh, we'll wrap up the video. All right, stay tuned. I was just really taken... You know, of course, I've been sitting here for a long time all those cloning jobs, which <laughs> proved to be unnecessary, but better safe than sorry. Uh, but I've been sitting here and uh, looking at this, and, and I happened, the, the iMac was asleep. I happened to touch the keyboard accidentally, and it woke up, and I just thought this is kind of a cool picture. A 2009 iMac running Catalina, courtesy of DOS Dude one and it runs it very, very well, by the way. And a 2001 Digital Audio running Leopard. You know, Mac OS has come a long way in a lot of ways, but I certainly find, through this amazing hobby of retro computing, it's not really that different. I've always thought of Leopard as being the first of the modern Mac operating systems. Uh, and I think it really is. Uh, very, very functional in so many ways today. Well, in any event, I think we can wrap up this video, and it's been a success. We have working OS 9 and digital audio. So, be good to other people. Be good to yourselves. We'll make this world a better place. It isn't yet, so please take very, very good and careful care. All right, I've got things in mind. Certainly, I've got to do that <laughs> video I've been meaning to do right along the digital audio. Uh, I've got a G5 video, uh, Power Mac G5 video coming up, uh, iMac G5. You know, look at that 2009 iMac. It is possible to upgrade the graphics card on that, and run Big Sur. Uh, who knows? I may give that a shot. Uh, but until any or all or more of those things come up in the channel, this has been Broken Electronics. <laughs>